Thank you for watching this video. My name is Hang Yue Qi. Today, I am very happy to share our results on traveling wave solutions of a model of a liquid film flowing down a vertical fiber. This is a collaborative work with Dr. Roman Taranets and Dr. Marina Czechnova, and our work has been published in European Journal of Applied Mathematics. Thin liquid films flowing down a vertical fiber, also called fiber coating dynamics, has attracted a lot of interest recently due to its wide applications in the design of heat and mass exchangers for desalination and humidifiers. This is also used for vapor and particle capturing in some engineering applications. Here we present a typical setup for the experiments where we let the liquid flow down a vertical cylindrical fiber. And due to the Rayleigh plateau instability, we will see some of these droplets forming on the fiber as the fluid uh, flows down. We have typically uh, three regimes for such fiber coating dynamics. In the first regime, the so-called convective regime, we get the faster moving droplets chasing up to the slower moving ones, and this causes a lot of droplet coalescence. We also get the Raleigh plateau regime where we get a stable train of droplets flowing down the fiber at a almost constant speed. And we also have the isolated droplet regime where we get larger separating uh, spacing between the droplets. And we have some wavy patterns in between of these larger droplets. So in this work, we would focus more on the Raleigh plateau regime where we get the solution that looks like traffic waves. Our work uh, would focus on a thin film model first introduced by Kelly Hamger's group in 2001. Here we present a schematic figure for thin viscous liquid flowing down a fiber. And this H represents the film thickness uh, for the liquid above, uh, like on the substrate. And the R0 represents the fiber radius of the cylindrical fiber. The evolution equation we obtain for such thin film modeling look like the following. This is a fourth water parabolic type PDE for the film thickness H that accounts for the gravitational effect. And these two terms accounts for the surface tension of the free surface. In particular, the surface tension in this model plays two roles. Here we get the stabilizing axial curvature of the free surface, and we also get the destabilizing azimuthal curvature or hoop stress that is responsible for the droplet formation. Sigma over here accounts for the bound number, and we have this mobility functional Q over here that incorporates the geometry of the cylindrical substrate. In this work, we would consider a slightly modified fiber coating model. We first substitute U being H plus R0 into the model to simplify the discussion. And we also incorporated a generalized film stabilization term pi tilde, which has been shown in earlier work to improve the comparison against experimental uh, observations. Here, after the substitution, we get a modified fourth order nonlinear PDE for U. And again, this is a fourth order uh, parabolic type degenerate PDE with the scaling parameter A and the exponent M for the film stabilization term. And the mobility function Q uh, changes its form slightly due to the substitution. Our work has the two main results as follows. Here we first show the existence of non-negative weak solutions of the model. And we also analytically and numerically studied the traveling web solutions in the PDE. In order to discuss the analytical results, we will first define a generalized non-negative weak solution and formulate a existence statement for the PDE problem. In particular, we would consider the following PDE over a periodic domain, and we have the initial data U0 specified. 
in order to simplify the formulation, we also introduced a few uh, new functions for the surface tension terms in the PDE. The PDE itself has some nice properties such as the conservation of mass. So this condition represents the fact that the liquid over the domain would contain a, the, a conserved mass over all time uh, that we considered. And we would also like to define a dynamic pressure J that accounts for both the axial and osmotic surface tension and a film stabilization term. Here we present the definition of the generalized weak solutions uh, for our problem. A weak solution uh, in our problem uh, satisfies the following technical uh, assumptions and would be a non-negative function and satisfies the model in the following weak sense. We would like the PDE to hold at all points on the lateral boundary whenever U doesn't touch down to R0 or whenever our film thickness H doesn't touch down to zero. Here we have the existence and non-negativity results for the PDE. Uh, we use regularization techniques and a priori estimates for energy and entropy functionals to handle the degeneracy of the parabolic PDE. In particular, we handle the degeneracy at the point when U becomes zero, when U becomes R zero, and when the derivative function of U blows up. In addition to the existence and uh, non-negativity results, we also study the traveling wave solutions. Here we introduce a change of variables so that we can consider the PDE in the moving reference frame. After introducing this change of variable with a constant uh, velocity big V, we get a PDE for the small v that satisfies the PDE in the moving reference frame. Here we have a constant mu that can be used to indicate two separate cases. When mu is zero, we have the case without gravity. And when mu is one, we have the case with gravitational effects. And we also define an energy functional that combines the surface tension and the film stabilization mechanism. Here we present the results for the convergence to traveling wave solutions without the gravity. Here, the, minim the energy minimizer V mean is just the traveling wave solutions that we are interested in. Here we present a typical numerical simulation of a PDE solution converging to a energy minimizer or a traveling wave solution in a case when gravity is not at present. And here is the corresponding energy that shows uh, that shows that the energy would attain its mean as your solution attains the traveling wave solution. For the case when gravity is included, we do need to incorporate a few additional assumptions. And under the modified energy definition and the additional uh, constraints that we imposed on this uh, function f, we show that for every mass m, the functional uh, e tilde would attain its minimum, which is the traveling wave solution that we're interested in. Here we present a typical convergence to traveling wave simulation starting from some initial data and the corresponding F and E tilde satisfies the analytical results that we derived. Thank you very much for your attention. Please reach out to me if you have any questions. Thank you very much.